Everyone's just going to run you through two days of training, Saturday and Sunday, with Saturday being a fairly short session. I was going to try to get some squats in, but my quads are feeling a little bit too tight to be squatting well, so I just decided to kank it at 135 pounds, switched gears, went over to close grip bench press, and got myself a nice new two rep max. So I feel pretty good about the two rep max, feel good about the close grip bench press, and just a small note on this close grip bench press. Some people, especially novice lifters, especially new people into powerlifting who may be doing starting strength or strong lifts or 5-3-1 with boring but big variations, some of you guys have some questions about assistance work and it's kind of been a hot topic on the reddits lately and most everybody knows that I'm a huge fan of assistance work I'm a fan of the conjugate method of training and the gist of it is you identify your weaknesses and you attack those weaknesses but also at the same time you can't let you yourself get complacent with your strengths so my lockout has been my weakness in my bench press for a very long time almost for as long as I could remember benching. I've always struggled at lockout and the close grip bench press does a fantastic job of training the triceps. So I choose the close grip bench press to help get stronger in my lockout. Additionally, I'll also do some slingshot work, some reverse band benching sometimes, and uh, direct tricep work. The biggest thing about assistance work is that it also can be used to simply build your body. What? Build your body? That sounds a lot like bodybuilding. That sounds a lot like vanity work. And I'm a power lifter, and so my pursuit of touching a barbell is a lot more noble than bodybuilding. Come on, you guys. We're all in the same fraternity here. We all lift weights. But the reality is a bigger muscle has a higher potential for exerting strength. So in novice programs, the biggest fault that I see is not enough bodybuilding. If you gotta if you wanna be strong, you gotta be jacked. And a lot of times novice lifters are trying to get strong, but also at the same time they're not doing a very good job of getting jacked. And so some minor additions you could make to really any sort of novice routine would just be 3x10 curls and triceps extensions or, or skull crushers, whatever it is you want to call it. And likewise with quad, ex quad extensions, legs extensions, whatever you want to call those, and hamstring curls. Those are just two isolation movements that you can just build a little bit more size on your biceps, triceps, quads, and hamstrings. And those things are going to do wonders for improving your squat, deadlift, bench press, strict press, French press, for those of you coffee drinkers, delicious, I might add. So yeah, that's a little number on the assistance work. If you want to be strong, you got to be relatively jacked. Even the people who don't have bodybuilding type physiques still got pretty damn large muscles. And those bodybuilders who don't train for strength, let's say Kai Green, he can also rep 455 on the incline. So size does have a huge correlation to strength. And if you're lacking some size, do some selected assistance work, you guys. And you're gonna you're gonna thank me because nothing feels better than blasting some biceps, staring at yourself in the mirror, totally admiring that vein that's coming up on that peak. You're like Sir Edmund Hillary, just mounting the Everest that is your biceps. You need a fucking oxygen mask just to finish this bicep workout. Enough about that, you guys. Let's talk about high bar squats. High bar pause squats. So I worked up to a 405 with a pretty lengthy pause, about 8 seconds or so. I'm wearing a belt because, like I said, squatting just wasn't feeling right. This is today, Sunday. Squatting's feeling much better than what it was on Saturday. So I worked up to a relatively easy 405, paused it for a lengthy period of time, and then did a double. And yeah, I was going to do just a bunch of doubles and it felt good. I was just going to continue doing it, but it didn't feel good. So I just stopped it there, said whatever. You know, I'm going to do some posterior chain work. What you're seeing here is my last set, my fourth set of eight repetitions on the snatch grip, stiff leg, deficit, deadlift. Yeah, that's a whole lot of words to describe one exercise, 
but at the same time it's a very great exercise and all I'm trying to do there is just put the most strain and stretch I can on my posterior chain and it feels great. Hope you learned something. Hope you liked it. Thanks for watching.